It's a guy, Boris Yeltsin, straight from Kitusuru, in a French Normandy architectural design mansion, five bedroom, all en suite, with a two bedroom guest wing, with a parking lot that can easily contain 10 cars comfortably. The property sits on one acre. The property itself has a built up area of 10,000 square feet. This property comes with a 20 meter long swimming pool. It also has a fountain water feature on my right hand side. The property is one to watch out for. Don't go anywhere. Let's jump on my right hand side, get to see what this beautiful property has to offer. It's your guy, Boris. Let's jump. This property comes with this beautiful water feature, which you really appreciate once it gets dark. You also appreciate the house once it gets dark because now there's some lights that surround it that makes it pop out nicely and even the house itself, black and white. Very neutral colors that beautify a house when, when, when it gets dark. Beautiful. On that side, I have an underground tank of 80,000 liter capacity. That is rainwater. And how it's collected is just amazing. On the roof, I've got separate wings, that is wing A and wing B that service different tanks because it's 40, 40,000, combining is 80,000 of rainwater. Now you ask me, Boris, where is the rainwater used? I mean, how do you use the rainwater? The rainwater is used to sustain the capacity of the pool, water, and also to water the garden and all these trees to make them green and lush. Very, very important. Now, over that side also, I've got a 20,000 underground water tank that is city county on the other end i have a generator just in case there is power outage it kicks in and lights the house so that means you never have power outages in this property so boris i really like the design of this home yes of this property yeah i've never seen anything like this quite <laughs> why, why do why do you like it i mean because it, it looks more of, more more like a castle yeah and also uh, just the landscaping is very beautiful and I like the way around the property itself it's covered by trees so it gives you a lot of privacy. Yeah very true. The, the owner himself told Boris you know what we planted these trees to bring privacy in the house that means the neighbors cannot get to see what is happening inside here right there's no house they can see through uh, the fence because of these trees that give the property itself a lot of privacy. Yeah. Yes. And even the layout, just to see where the swimming pool is placed, is, is positioned very low. Yeah. So even like nobody can see what's it's, you, can, you can have a very private pool party down there. Exactly, party. And that swimming pool is almost 20 meter long. Very beautiful swimming pool and party. On the side, we have a gazebo, an outdoor gazebo that also has an accent of the black and white as the house, right? Yes. That veranda gives you access to the swimming pool. So you just go down and into the swimming pool. Now, but take just a minute, just looking at the exterior of this house. Look at the white tones and the black tones oozing naturally, smoothly and gently. It's just relaxing on the outdoor. Look at the arch windows, very, very important. Now look at the roof. Now that roof, Yes. That roof. Mm -hmm. The roof there is very expensive. That is Tegola roof. Very expensive. In case there is rain, I mean it's raining, the house remains silent. Mm. Right? Yeah. And it takes years and years and years for that color to fade out. And that means it will take you years to replace this roofing here. It's quality and high end. But again. Bo Boris, Boris, uh, sorry to cut you short, but yes, sir. you had some very interesting facts about the structure of this home. Uh, kindly just elaborate a bit more. Very important. Now, if, if an earthquake would happen right now, this is the only house that would remain standing in the entire Nairobi. Wow. And why, some, why is that? The reason is this house can sustain a magnitude, an earthquake magnitude of around 6.5. Just imagine, 6.5 would bring almost 90% of houses in Nairobi town down. Only houses that even tall skyscrapers will go down. Very oh. few remain because 6.5 magnitude of an earthquake is very, very strong. Or for, or for residential homes. Residential is homes, yeah. Okay, this is one of them that will remain standing. Yeah. Now, if ask the reason why the reason why it remains standing is because the owner or the idea behind the house was to sustain such kind of things, mm. right? And that's why the valuation or the price of the house is so high as compared to the normal houses in the market. Yeah. Now, this house has got 68 columns. Okay. <laughs> Crazy, man. Crazy. 68 <laughs> columns, you find them in, you know, uh, commercial buildings. Yes, yes. 68 columns. And the beams, 
that have just been used on this house are two meters wide. Okay. Crazy. That's the crazy. roof <laughs> on this house, uh -huh. the roof is crazy again, has got a bit of craziness on it. Yes. Has 32 steps on it, meaning, I mean the steps meaning design, you see, almost 32 steps okay. on the roof. So different designs for... On the roof, yes. Yeah. You see like that one? Uh -huh. That is like an old school touch roof, remember? Yes. Look yes, at yes, that. Yes. Now if you look at this again, it's a different roof. You see, different yeah. roofs on oh, that roof. Okay, okay. Combine them, Understood. 32 roofs. Yeah. On this roof, and beautiful. Al and also, Boris, you uh, you've been praising this home ever since we got here, <laughs> and uh, you had also some very amazing facts about the lot size and even how the the, the place is built. Uh, yes. Could you give us a, a yeah, very very insight? important. Now, this property sits on one acre, mm -hmm. but then again, the one acre is divided into two, yes. and that means these two have got separate titles. Okay. Now, if that is the case, then that means anybody who is buying this house will buy this house. Yes, plus that one is one. Okay. But then again, if they decide to sell, they can easily sell. Okay. And the second thing is, if I buy this house mm -hmm. and I have a son, I can even build a house on that side for my son mm -hmm. because this property has got two different access points. Mm -hmm. I can use that mm -hmm. and the other one. So okay. this one, once you decide to sell this or build that one, I erect a fence here, then this one becomes normal access to my French Normandy, mm -hmm. architectural design five bedroom yeah. in Kitasuru. Now, that side becomes the access for that lot on that side. Okay. In the meanwhile, we're using it as a garden. Very important party. Yes. yes. Now, this becomes the driveway to the property. That becomes the driveway to that land or that lot on that side. Yeah. Yes. So, party, just look at, look at this garden. You walk around the market, you will never find a garden of this size in a property in the entire upmarket Nairobi. Never. Very few have this size of a garden. <laughs> now, party, you can have events, you can have parties here, you can have um, a birthday you know, events, parties, you can have a meeting with your friends, you can have family events here. You can accommodate a lot of people at a go because they've got enough parking space again on that side. Yeah. Now, when you drive in, the reason why we had to put this hedge on this level is because when you drive in, it's for you to appreciate the beauty of the green and the white and the black mm -hmm. from the gate. Yeah. Or even from that side, you can get to see the house, all of it, easily and appreciate the beauty from that side. Otherwise, we could have allowed this hedge to grow and cover the house, and therefore you don't get to appreciate the beauty yeah. of the house when you drive in to the property. Yeah, and, I, and I think also that, that is a very important thing because the house has a different vibe on every side. Yes. Yeah. So that's from, very true. From every different angle that you look at it, yes, it looks different. That's very true. So I think that's that's a very so important point. That's very true, part. I mean, you only notice the trees around the house, but then again, if you're very keen, even on the fence there is trees. Mm, no even trees. on the fence there is trees. So nobody can get to see what is happening in the house. Yeah. Privacy. Yeah. Anybody who is spending that kind of money is very concerned about security. And I'll explain to you why this house or this property is very secure. This property is just in between serious developments around it. And you're not, you can not easily access it. You've got buyers, you've got like three gates before you get the property. So it's hidden inside, tucked away from the main road. It's very, very private and secure. That is something anybody who can afford to buy this property will be looking at, security. Let's jump on that side here to see what we have on that side, buddy. So this is the main entrance to the property and that is the driveway that brings you into the property. There's a parking on that side and the parking on this side. That is a garage for two cars. I've got a guest room for two and I've got an SQ for two and a five bedroom all on suite. So without wasting much time, let's jump in, get to see what we have in this beautiful French Normandy architectural design five bedroom in Kitasuru. Let's jump in. Party, we cannot start shooting the house without appreciating this door. <laughs> it looks like a castle door, right? Yes. Very heavy. It looks like something straight out of Game of Thrones. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I told the owner of the property. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, yes. yeah. Or oh, Vikings. Or oh, Vikings, exactly. It's old school, antique. And I'll explain to you. This door is very heavy. Very, very heavy. And you ask me, how was it brought here? How was it fixed here? Now, it was brought with this the frame of this door, right, was fixed separately, that is, was fixed, fixed separately with the, with the door before it was brought here and placed as a door. Why? It's because 
it's very heavy. You could not do this frame separately here, then bring it and fix it from here. You have to fix it from somewhere else. Mm. Very, very important. Yes. Then, there's something I want to mention to you, Paddy. Look at the hinges. Wow. The hinges are massive. And in fact, if I even try to push this door, yes. it's very heavy. Show them the hinges. The hinges are like could be somebody's arms. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's a hinge door and it's Okay, very let me just big. put my arm for reference. Yeah, exactly. It's very, very big, big, big hinges. And these hinges, you can see I've got a hole here. Mm -hmm. Now, this hole is used to spray the grease so you don't need to remove the door and grease it. You, you grease it from this point. Mm -hmm. Then another thing is this door is not a hollow door. It's pure wood, solid wood. Mm -hmm. Very important. Very, very heavy door. Yes, buddy. Yeah. Could you kind of just give us a layout of this? first level. Oh, very important. Thank you, man. Now, when I'm standing here, this one, when you walk in, you stand here. On that side, I've got the kitchen, right? On that side, I've got a pantry. I also have got a breakfast area. And behind me is my dining. That side, sunken lounge, that is the clock room and the first bedroom. These stairs takes you upstairs, the next level of the house. So, where do you want me to start from, Paddy? Uh, let's start from the kitchen. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. So, this is my kitchen. It's a very big kitchen, but there's something that you have to notice without going any further. The hood finishes in this kitchen is too much, right? And that gives me a wealthy vibe, classical, a rich vibe. Look at the hood finishes, the cabinet tree. Look at the island with the hood finish. In fact, it's my first time seeing an island with the hood finish and a sink. At the center party. Yeah, you know and, I, and I mean even the craftsmanship that would have gone into this kitchen is very high end because think about it, wood and water don't mix well. That's very true. Kitchen is a place where there's a fire, yes, there's water. Or water. So it has to be designed in a way that it withstands all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't see any damp areas on the wood. That's very true. You don't even see any smoke. That's very true. So I think this is it it also uh, amplifies why the house is valued at all. Nah, I agree with you. That's very, very true, buddy. I mean, that's a very important point, buddy. I didn't think of that, but that is very, very, that's very true. Yeah. Right. So we jump behind. Yes. Is there anything to talk about here? No, no, no. Even the glass finishes on the wood cabinets also yeah. adds to it. I mean, there's so much to talk about. No, no, buddy. Talk about it then. Talk <laughs> about it. Yeah. It's, it's your show. So no, let no, me, it's, let, it's, let it's me, our show. Let me let you go. It's our show. <laughs> uh, we can look at the pantry. Oh, let's look at the pantry. Come in. So, Paddy, this is my pantry, and this pantry, what I love about it is still see the consistent wood finishes in the pantry, the green and the mesh that allows air circulation into the spaces, and also, this space can also be used in the kitchen because I've got a sink here, I've got sockets, and also, very important, here is your cylinder provision. You put your gas here, then you pipe it into the other spaces you want to use on that side. Very important. Let's jump into the next space of the house. Follow me. So this is our breakfast area. It's not so far away from the main kitchen. We bring food here. We have our meals. But also when you're having our meals, we get the view of the out, right? Or outdoors. Green views. Black and white still consistent. The curves talk about the ceiling. You know the handrails and all the stuff. The curve is everywhere. Even on the windows, see that curve? Very, very consistent. But have you seen something when I mentioned? I just like this view. Yes. Uh, gives me like English royalty looking into my garden. Oh yeah! Uh, oh so yeah! Oh yeah! Very, very, very. I agree with you, Freddy. I mean, I don't have uh, any more ones to. Explain. Okay, let's jump this side. Now here is my dining area. Very huge dining area. Look at it. Something that you like to, you must appreciate. Number one is the floor, and the floor is. Wooden, mahogany, and stained. Look at the floor. It's not just those cheap hoodings on the floor that have just been placed, right? But this one has got some pattern and some stains, and it's consistent in every space of this house with the hood floor. Very, very important. The windows, look at the windows, very many. And those windows have got burglar proof, you see? So nobody can break into your house. True, true, true. The black and white, consistent. This house gives you an antique design. Now, Paddy asked me, Boris, what is this? I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> Look at that. You have to appreciate architecture. You have to appreciate, right, creativity. This is a vault ceiling. 
And look at this chandelier dropping down. It's like it's falling from above. Very, very important. That space just allows air circulation. We can have our meals here, right, with the views of the outdoor. And then this is the fireplace. There's a lot of things I want to talk to you or to mention to you on the fireplace. Let's go to the fireplace, get to see what it has. So into my sunken lounge, the floors are holding and they're still stained. It's very cool. This lounge is just to make you relax. Because I've got trees, there's natural air flowing in, cool breeze coming in from the pool and the trees, relaxing. Now this is our fireplace. I'll explain to you a few things. Come this way, Paddy. There is a hole here. And you wonder what is the work of that hole. Now, that hole you're seeing there is to bring in air. And that air goes in, and this fireplace would eat that air. Once it's heated, it is transferred into the rooms and to warm <laughs> the rooms. <laughs> this is what you're seeing here. So this heat will heat the air, then it goes into the room and makes the room warm. Very important. Come, but I'll show you something again before we go anywhere. I know you're being shocked. Now, you see over there, there's a hole over there. You see that hole? Yes, yes, yes. So that hole is to bring oxygen into the fireplace. Mm -hmm. You see that hole? Yes. Can you see the pipe? Yes, I can see So it. the oxygen will just flow in, mm -hmm. then it goes all the way into the fireplace, into the fireplace. Mm -hmm. Once it's in the fireplace, it oxygenates, right? Mm -hmm. The firewood, it burns. Then we also have a chimney that takes, right, all that uh, smoke outside. Now, very important. Now, look at this. How do you burn your, fire, I mean, your wood here? You first put small wood pieces, burn them, uh, you give them like 10, 15 minutes, then you add more firewood. You cannot just burn a very big chunk of wood in this space. It may end up cracking the glass. So you, you burn it slowly until the fire builds up, then now it won't affect this the glass. glass. Yeah. Then also the owner told me, Boris, you know what? You can easily feel the fire, even if it's closed, while you are seated at this point. So the heat will just come radiate yeah. towards you, yeah. slowly and gently. Very important. Wow. Yes, buddy. Now on that side, come this way. Buddy, we, we, we have two, you know, many staged houses. And for staged houses, there is much to talk about. Yeah. Now this one is not staged, but there's a lot of things to talk about it. That's what I'm noticing. <laughs> In fact, I'm still... <laughs> on the fireplace. I'm still at the fireplace. <laughs> My, I wish they could see my mouth, I was just wide open the whole time you're explaining. <laughs> anyway, let's go on. Yeah, and I forgot to tell you, you also have to appreciate the moldings on the fireplace. Yes. Look at the molding on the fireplace. I mean, it's see? Very beautiful. unique, very yeah. unique. They took time just working on the fireplace and that creativity on it. Now this is our family room or our TV area. Then you mount your TV here, then you can put your, you know, electronics down there, then you can just use them. But Paddy, there is something very important for you to notice. The stained floor, like I told you, is not those cheap wood floors you're seeing in the market. This is different. Look at the pattern. It's mahogany floors. Windows everywhere. Good natural lighting. Let's go this way. So Paddy, this is not my master bedroom. This is my guest bedroom. Look at how big it is. It's en suite, two windows, and the closet. Look at the closet finishes. Antique closets. It's very rich, unique, you don't find it in the market easily. Look at that, gorgeous. Come this way, this one here is my other bedroom, right? Look at this, and look at the curve. <laughs> I mean, I like the rooms with the curve there. Yeah. It just gives you a different, different vibe, view. right? Yeah. I don't know, have you been to the coast? Yes, yes. You'll find this. Mostly, yeah. Mostly this one. And then also it gives it like, I was saying, looks like a castle from the outside. Exactly. Even the castles in the rooms usually. The curve, yes. Curve. So the curve is consistent in every space. And that is very beautiful. I love it. The windows, a lot of windows, burglar proof. Look at that curtain rail, steel curve, black and white and brown on the floor, mahogany on the floor. That is the washroom, single sink, and the shower area. Let's go see what we have on this side. So as you go up on my left hand side is the cloak room, and then these 
stairs takes you to the next level. But before we go to the next level, it's very important for me to take you to the next level. And the next level is moldings on the stairs. Beautiful. And the black steel solid handrails. Beautiful. It, and it just contracts, it contracts nice. I mean, it contrasts nicely. Yes. And even the pattern on the steel railings, I mean, you can see some almost like leaves. Yeah, 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 the leaves, yeah, I can see the leaves. It's so unique, buddy. Let's go up, see what you have on, on the other side or on top of this. But before we get to the next level, right, appreciate this open roof or ceiling design. Look at that. Wood, beautiful wood, white walls. Look at the long arch window. You can do a pendant light, like the way it's done. You can change that, perhaps still maintain that pendant uh, light. Very important. So let's go into this level. So on this level, I've got two bedrooms. I've got the second or the third bedroom and the master bedroom. Remember we're seeing two bedrooms down? Here I've got two bedrooms and one on top. Now the bedroom behind me is another bedroom that is en suite, has a washroom inside it, has a real walk-in closet. It also has a chilling area. You can just go sit down, you know, enjoy the views, you know, take your coffee on that point, have the views as well. Of the neighborhood and also you can mount a tv at that point and you know watch tv from that area now this bedroom again it also has a french window that gives you access to the Juliet balcony and in that bedroom again we also have open ceilings giving you real you know open ceilings right you can see woodings on the ceiling it's beautiful it gives you a contrast between the woods and the white walls it's a very beautiful big bedroom on this level now, in front of me is my master bedroom. Let's go in and see what my master bedroom has to offer. Look at it. Very huge master bedroom with good natural lighting. This master bedroom will shock you with everything inside it. Now, on this side, I have a terrace privately for the master bedroom. So I go there, stand there, have a view of the neighborhood, right? See in the evening, I can go there, I can smoke, I can drink, I can just relax on that area, private. For myself. Yes, Boris, I'd like us to just go and just have a feel of. Uh, okay, I'll need to open here. And this is how it feels. It's a sunny day in Nairobi today. And it's <laughs> a Sunday afternoon. Right, now, this is the master bedroom terrace. And how it feels here, it's very calm, relaxed, and very private. Nobody gets to see what is happening on the terrace. Why? The reason is those trees you're seeing covering the property. Very, very private. And if you've watched us from the start, remember I told you down there that this property has got different steps, 32 steps on the roof. And I told you it has got two wings. Now, this one is my wing A and that is wing B, serving different tanks. Now come see what I was talking about. Look at the, look at the gutters. This gutter takes water to the other tank. That gutter takes water to the other tank. I've got 20,000 liters, that is city county water, and I don't tank. And I also have a tank up here 4,000 liters just in case there is water shortage in the property. I'll show you where it is. Come inside. This is my master bedroom and allow me to take my time just to show you what we have here. Number one, I've got a jacuzzi for two and the steps that takes you to the jacuzzi is pure hood. That is class. On that side, I have a window. French window giving you access to the Juliet balcony. On that point, you eat the views of the swimming pool and the trees. Very important. On the ceiling, I've got a vaulted ceiling, open ceiling, look at that, very, very important. On this side, I've got two sinks, pedestal, pedestal sinks with a mirror, very important. I've got those small arch windows, you can see them everywhere, bringing light into this washroom. I have a bidet, I have a toilet, I've got a shower cubicle with a pure or a real rain shower head here. We can shower in here, that is me and my wife at the same time. It's very huge, very, very huge shower cubicle. And the good thing is, your partner can shower in here, you in the jacuzzi at the same time, and you get to appreciate the beauty of nature. <laughs> Let's go inside, buddy. What do you have to say, buddy? <laughs> I mean, when we go inside, uh, yeah. inside the walk-in closet, uh, yeah. this is what... <laughs> okay, now it feels like I've just entered on, um, uh, say, high-end is... high English, <laughs> Taylor, I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> take over my friend. Okay, okay. It feels like you've entered into, right, an English custom-made walk-in closet. 
Look at the wool, it's so rich, everywhere is wool in white. This is something that is very difficult to find in many properties. Many houses these days have got too much modernity, structure, straight lines, it's too much. It's time to change the game, switch it back and take it back to the antique design. Look at this, this is a walk-in closet. You can decide, have this side for your partner and that side somebody else will take. Those are just drawers on that side. These are shoe racks. This door takes me straight into my wing, guest wing. I've got a guest wing with two bedrooms. Now just in case there is any emergency in the property and I want to find a place to just go out very fast, I'll use this door, then go down, then run away in case there is any panic or any problem. Very important. Paddy, you've seen many houses, bro, and you know that many houses you've seen have got too much modernity. Yes. But this one is different. I mean, if if I was paying, uh, you said four million? Four million dollars. Four million US? Yes. If I was paying that, yeah. I, this is exactly what I'd expect. Exactly. Something outstanding. Uh, something, something, something unique. Out, something that even if one of my friends comes to my house, they're shocked. They're shocked. Because you know what the owner told me? That Boris, you cannot cope with this house. You cannot. Yes. Because he had to sit down for two years just designing this property. He's himself a civil engineer. But then again, he sat down and dis designed the house for two years just working on the house. Very important. Come this way, Paddy. But Paddy, before we go, appreciate this pillars here just yeah. holding this you know space and giving it some which vibe i mean like i said it feels like i entered a very expensive <laughs> walking closet custom tailor suit <laughs> shop in <laughs> england oh yeah yeah custom tailor oh, yeah, yeah, in england in savile row yes. it's like you've walked in savile row let's yes. go this side <laughs> <laughs> now this side this one is another space again that could be used to store your you know private things you can put your firearms here you can Put a lot of things that are very, very private on this space. And then also, this space can be used to put some seats. You can chill here, maybe in the evening, read your magazine, study. You know, you can decide to work from here if you want to. You can decide also mount a TV on the wall and sit here just privately. Now you can have the entire space privately for yourself. Nobody else would access it because now I've got master bedroom on that side. I've got the washroom, the walk-in closet access to my uh, guest wing and also this space for myself just to chill, sit down and just relax. I can lock myself inside here. But before we go out, switch the camera, show them what we have on top, that one. Now look at that ceiling, open ceiling, ceiling. Just look at that shape, the prism going up. These pure class, pure creativity. Buddy, <laughs> somebody sat down and design this i've seen many houses but i've not seen something like this this is something i really like to copy and build as my retirement home or even say my dream home would be something like this difficult to find what do you have to say buddy let's go and see what we have on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> let's go and see what you have on the other side come let's see what we have on this side come on just from my spiral stairs into the attic. This attic serves as another bedroom again. The attic is en suite. It has a small kitchen, linear kitchen on that side, that kitchenette that you can just go, do your coffee, have your coffee from this point. Very important thing. Now that small door or window you're seeing there gives you access to my one of my tanks on that side. And there's also another one on that side that gives you access to another tank on that side that gives you uh, supplies with water just in case there is some emergency uh, in terms of water supply in the property. Now, appreciate again the dropping roof and the hood that is connected to the wood floor. Look at that dropping ceiling goes straight and attaches to the floor itself. I've got these arch windows here. And another important thing is I've got the AC there because you know, attic sometimes, the attic sometimes also gets very, very warm. That's why we said, okay, we we'll provide an AC into the space to cool the space. Very, very cool. It's en suite and uh, there is a uh, washroom on that side. And also I've got a separate sink outside of the washroom. Very, very important. But Paddy, what I really appreciate about the attic is just these wood finishes on the open wood ceilings. That is pure vault ceilings. Beautiful Paddy. You can see the column over there and you can appreciate why and you can understand why I was telling you this property can stand um, a 6.5 magnitude earthquake 
and also look at the ceiling is reinforced by steel and for me just seeing the hood is just coming relaxing it's beautiful it's natural it's mwah. i love it let's go down and see what we have on the lower floor come this is my guest wing two bedroom guest wing that side is the kitchen area and this acts as the lounge area that side is a two bedrooms sharing that washroom I've got a French window, right, with a Juliet balcony. And even before I close, I would like you to appreciate the beauty of this five bedroom, French Normandy architectural design mansion in Kitasuru at night. Thank you so much for going around with us on this five bedroom mansion in Kitasuru. It's your guy, Boris Yassin. Until next time, on the same place. Bye bye.